Good morning everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my craft table and my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome if you're new, it's so glad to meet you. Today I'm gonna be trying out the Spellbinders Dancing Die. This is Fiona the Dancing Witch and I am actually going to uh, do this two times. I want one that looks like Glinda the Good Witch and I want one that looks like the Wicked Witch of the West. So if you are old school like me and grew up watching Wizard of Oz, this is going to be such a fun treat. So we're going to have both of the witches and they're going to just have some really fun sparkly elements. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first thing is I did go ahead and I chose the papers that I want to use for both witches. So I have the um, one, this is gonna be for our Wicked Witch, this is gonna be for our Good Witch, and then here are all of our dies. Now I have um, kind of a system that I use when I do dies, the manual dies. When I'm working with my Cricut, everything is contained and wonderful. And when I'm working with dies, I'm still trying to get good at them. But what I have found is I get a little bitty dish or tray and I put my die cuts in here when I take them off of the mat. And then I have my magnetic uh, die holder. This is from Spellbinders. I treated myself to one of those. And that basically is magnetic and it holds the die when you're done so you don't lose it because that would be me. All right, let's go ahead and start getting this together. I'm gonna to bring in my scalp here and my little cutting plates. Let's see, I've got all kinds of fun papers. Before we start cutting, let me take these papers out, put them all out here. And I think I have more paper than I need for sure. And the reason for that is because you know, I can never make up my mind. So there's that, right? Okay, so this particular color will be, nope, that will not be. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, I am still trying to decide what kind of green to use. So I think what I was going to do is I was going to cut out her face and hands two times because I wanted a green, but I couldn't decide on the green. I think I want the dress in black, and I think I want the hat in black. Okay, we have our broomstick here, and our broom color will go on this one. And I'm going to cut out, I think I'm gonna cut out the little buckle I'm going to cut it out in gold, but I'm also going to cut the little hat. So the hat has a band. I'm going to cut that out in purple glitter, and then I'm going to do the little bow and ties for the dress in the purple glitter, just like that. We need our shoes. Shoes will be red glitter. Okay. And I think for the hair, I did want to go ahead and do orange. And I also want to do orange on these leggings, the little stripes for the, for the uh, leggings could be an orange. I think in, I'm gonna do purple legs and then I need this charcoal for the hat accent. And I think I have everything. Okay, so I think that's how everything needs to go based on what I was thinking the other day. Oh, I do remember something. I uh, just remembered something. I do need to cut out the face. I need to cut that out with um, just the cheeks like this and the black for the eyes. So I'll be sending that through again. So I'm gonna grab some washi tape just to hold these in place. I always tend to bump my dies, so I have to tape them down in place like that, just so they don't move. Then we're just gonna run this through our scout. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything die cut, and then we'll get to the assembly.
Okay, all of our die cutting is done and everything has been pulled away. Now we are going to start putting our little girl together. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do, we have all of our die cut pieces here, the big ones, and then all of our little ones are in here. Now, the one thing that I do want to do, and I don't know that it's really that big of a deal, but I'm just going to take my alcohol marker here and I'm just kind of flicking through some of these little areas on her dress. Part of the reason is that it'll add some depth and dimension and really bring out those little die cut lines. And another reason is because this particular cardstock is not solid core. So you can actually see the white edging. This is a warm gray. And I'm just going to take that and go along all of my edges. And that will give this illusion of solid core. Okay, I think I've got all those. And then just kind of go up through these little parts here a little bit along. All of these cut lines are like little seams and details. I think that's good. All right, so we're just going to let that hang out to the side and dry. And then I'm going to do the same thing with our hat. Okay, we've got the hat. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the gray. Oh, along the legs here, just the bottom part of the legs. So then as far as the broom, we're going to do the same thing for the broom, but I'm going to just kind of go in here and do some shading along these little cut lines. And I'm just using like a flicking motion. That looks pretty good. It just gives it a little, a little extra. And then for the hair, I'm going to go along the bottom of the hair. And then her bangs, I'll do the same along the bangs. I think on the outside here, I'll just go around just like that. All right, now I think we can start building our witch. Let's put her dress and her head together like that. And with her hands, I am going to just slide them up under the dress, but I'm gonna kind of put them a little high, just like that. I think we're good. And then let's go ahead and fill in her cheeks and her eyes. There we go. And one more. Okay. So we have eyes, cheeks, dress, hands. That looks super cute. I love that. All right. Let's go ahead and get her hair on. And I think actually we need a little, just a dot right here on the sides. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put our hat on. So the head will go like so, and then we'll put this hat on underneath it. And then we'll go along the top of the, this is the shadow of the hat. I'm going to go along the top there. Okay, that looks so cute. All right. Then I want to go ahead and do our room. So it looks like we're gonna need a little bit of dot or glue here. And then we'll slide the broom right there. Then we have that tiny piece of the broom. Okay, so next I think I'll go ahead and Get this on here. So we'll just let her sit right there under that particular glass block. Okay, so next, now we need to get the glue onto the leggings. Okay, I'll tell you, this glitter piece definitely gave me a run for my money. It did not like being cut, that is for sure. So there's one legging, and then we'll do the other legging. Now, if you don't have a fine tip bottle for the glue, you can put a little bit of glue like on your mat, your glass mat, and then just dab your 
little elements into the glue itself. Here's our leggings. Ta-da! So perfect. Love it. Oh, we do need shoes. So here is the question. Do we use red shoes or do we use glitter shoes like that? Oh, I'm definitely liking, I'm liking the glitter. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with the glitter shoes. Okay. And then this hole right here is what's gonna be the mechanism for the legs to swing back and forth. But essentially here are our legs with our little glitter shoes. And then let's see, what else do we have over here? We have the cheeks. We don't need these boots or those. Okay, we, so we have the hat and the stuff on the shoes. They're like gold buckles. Okay, so I'm gonna let that one hang out under the glass block. Okay, so now we need to put, now we need to put her hat band on. There we go. And we're going to, we're gonna put her, let's see, we've got our buckle and we've got the bow to her collar. And then these are actually little bones. They're so cute. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the, the glue thing. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here. We are going to just kind of dab that glue, dab this down in the glue like that. Okay, so it's got lots of glue on there. And then we'll come along and put this down just like that. And then we're going to do the same thing with the collar. Get one in there. Actually. I'm gonna hold it this way. Okay, so I can get this side of the bow and that side of the bow. And we'll just put that right here. And then finally, our little bones. These little bones are so cute. And I did not realize they were bones until I, had, I was taking them off of the cutting mat. So here is, here's our little, Here's our little witch so far, so cute. Okay, now the big thing is that we've got to do something with a card panel. So we're gonna not attach the legs to Fiona at this time. We are gonna move all of that up here in the corner and just let it hang out under a big acrylic block. So it'll be good and dry. Okay, so something that I do want to do is I do want to measure how tall Fiona is going to be. So if she is like this, maybe a little bit more, this puts her at five inches tall. So I think that we will cut down a card panel. And then the next question is, do we like her? on a dark green background, on a gray, dark gray background, or a light gray background. I'm gonna use this embossing folder here just to add some, you know, texture to the card. And I'm gonna go ahead and do, and then I want to do five and an eighth this way. So these are our three panels that we can choose from. This will be one option here. This is another option. Here's the other option. It's the dark green. Oh, that's nice too. Okay, I think I like the dark green just because it really makes her hands and her face pop. And I'm gonna bring in my large spellbinders. This is what I will use for that embossing folder. Okay, get that on there. Okay, so this embossing folder is called Dazzling Dots, and it's a five and a half by eight and a half, so it actually will handle a complete half sheet of paper, but I just need a small panel. Okay, and let's see if I like where that's lining up. All right, so we're gonna put the fold side down first, then our cutting plate, and then we're gonna send that through. And I'm gonna go backwards also, okay? And then I have the choice of using the debossed side like this, 
or I could use the emboss side like that. So that'll be great. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to just take a regular card panel. I'm going to fold that. Works a lot better when you do score it. But I'm just going to use my bone folder to gently press. So this card panel will be four and a half, I mean four and a quarter by five and a half. This will go on here like that. And I actually think that we could trim this down a little bit more. So I'm going to grab my little trimmer. We're going to kind of go through each of the four sides. This will be, now it'll be 3.75 wide. And I do need to shave off a sliver on each end, like super microscopic sliver. And let's see what this looks like. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to just use some tape runner. I'm going to spot there. And then I'm going to get this lined up just like so. Okay, that looks nice. Really liking that. And then we need to position our little witch. And actually, Elphaba is the name of the Wicked Witch of the West. This can hang down a little bit. I'm okay with her hat interacting with the white of the card. I'm gonna have her legs be about like that. I think that's great. So I am going to move her off. Okay. And then I'm going to grab a foam dot. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Let me put that back on there. Grab her and double check. Okay. So we're going to put a little foam dot just like that. And this is what will allow the legs to swing. Now, we're going to get some foam dots onto our little lady here. All right, so I think we are ready to get this down. So I'm just going to take all of these release papers off, and then we will get all of this fit. So here we go. We are going to uh, hopefully get all of this down without too much trouble. Okay, and I'm going to pull off the release paper here. All right, so everything is there. Oh, I think I did it. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so her little legs swing back and forth. That is awesome. They do go a little higher here, so I could put a little dot under there to keep it from being a little crazy. Okay, so I'm just going to slide that up under that dress. Just right like that. That'll stop those legs from swinging too far. Okay, so that's that's better. That's I like that. And then finally, we just need to make the tiniest sliver. Okay, just gonna slide this up under that broom handle. Okay, so there is Fiona, our dancing witch, and her legs will swing back and forth. And this is paying homage to Elphaba, the Wicked Witch of the West from Wizard of Oz. Okay, so now what I want to do is create Glinda the Good Witch. So I have a variety of materials. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for Glinda the Good Witch, I have a variety of sparkly material. And I've got some regular... Now, I will tell you what I learned in my last um, attempt when I was making the other one is this glittery um, cardstock here. It really does not like <laughs> to be die cut. So there were several times where I had to kind of figure out and just add like cardstock shims. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my dies and 
we're going to figure out what kind of stuff that we want to do for, for our little witch. Okay, so this is our hand, our face and our hands. So I'm definitely going to need that there. And then we have the leggings. So for right now, I'm just going to kind of think about the pink glitter or the dress. I'm going to go ahead and make the hat pink as well. See if I can, there we go. And then this will be for the shadow of the hat. And I am going to need to run the face through the pink for the cheeks. And also I'm going to need some eyes. So I may need to bring back a piece of black for that. The buckle, I definitely want to be in this silvery white glitter for the legs. We can go ahead and do the regular pink for the legs since we're going to have the pink glitter on top. Oh, I can. I could get all three on there for our hair. I'll have to think about that. Okay, so we're going to have some, some blonde hair, I think. And I can go ahead and have the broom. The broom can be cut out with the same color as our little face um, for our hat. Let's see, we'll go ahead and do a dark shimmery pink. I think we're going to do a dark shimmery pink for the bow and the little bones, but I may do that also in white. I'm going to need another um, broom handle. So I think that's kind of all of the stuff that I need. Let me grab a black because I'm going to need a black for the face. I'm definitely going to need that. And I am going to need a little bit of pink for those cheeks. Tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and do the shoes out of the out of the white. Also, I'm going to set the rest of all this paper aside. All right, I'm going to bring in my little scout. This little machine has been very handy recently. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and get to die cutting, then we will get the card put together. Okay, I've got everything cut out. So now we are going to get these organized. I definitely did a much better job this time on the die cutting of this glitter cardstock. All right, all of the pieces are accounted for. So now what I want to do is I want to start putting everything together. Okay, so the first thing is I am actually going to go through here and I'm just going to give the broom a little bit of dimension and then we'll let that dry for a minute or two okay and then as far as her hair I just want to go along the bottom and I just want to flick up and give her a little bit of like an ombre shading for her hair that way it's not not so flat. The good thing about using lighter colors is that I actually don't have to go around the edges. So there is our hair and I'm just going to let that kind of hang out for a minute. All right next we have this dress. Now this dress is light pink and it's you can see where it has all these die cuts for the stitching just like our black dress did. And I just want to come in here and I just want to add some color, especially along the stitching. And that will give it a little bit more dimension. Okay, so funny, I did not notice in the last card because the black card stock is, you know, dark, but this stitching along here looks like spider webs. How fun. And then I'm going to do the same thing here along the um, sleeves. 
Okay, I think that is good to go. So now we actually want to fix this broom a little bit. Now, just like last time, I do want to go in here and I want to put washi on the back so that I have a place for my eyes and cheeks to land. Okay, so nothing's sticking around there. All right, so on that note, I want to put a little bit of blue in these spots and then I'm going to use my little jewel wand here and we just need to put the eyes in that and that one and we have some cheeks if I can get it to turn over it'll go in real nicely there we go so here is her cute little face that is awesome I just love it I want to go ahead and do her hair. So we need a little bit here around this edge. And then we're going to place this on here. That looks good. I don't think I need it, but just along the sides of the hair while that glue is setting, we'll go ahead and add a little washi there. I'm definitely an over adhesor. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> okay, so next. Let's put her little dress on. So I'm just going to grab the dress and her little neck. And there we go. And then while we're at it, we can go ahead and do her hands. So put a little dot of glue on the hands. And then we're just going to stick that down in there. And then another little dot on the other hand. I love these little circles. They're so easy. Line it all up. Okay. Y'all, she is looking so cute. Look at that. You could totally turn this into like a ballerina. You could turn it into a Christmas angel. Like, oh, there's so many things you could do. Now, I would, if I did that, I would need to use my Cricut to cut out some of the other elements, but that is, that is okay. So while we're here, I'm going to use my shimmer pen from scrapbook.com and I want to give her some shimmer on her dress. I had thought about doing vellum. I had thought about um, doing, I have holographic embossing powder, but I was trying to think how can I get her to have a sparkly pink dress and I think this is probably the best bet. And I can add more later if need be, but here is the dress. And now you can see the shimmer. Look at that. That's so fun. I love it. So I'm going to let her sit and hang for a minute. In the meantime, we are going to work on the broom. Okay. So I've got the broom handle here. I'm going to put a little dot of glue right here because this is where we're going to have the little tie to the bow or the broom, the little accent. There we go. Place that. I tell you, this is definitely easier the second time, just like anything else. All right, so now we can just let our broom hang out. We'll just stick it right under there. Okay, so next I want to do the um, leggings. And I think I have figured out why my shimmer um, glitter cardstock doesn't want to um, cut with a die cut very well. And it's because it's cardstock, but then the shimmer glitter is almost like, like a layer on top of it. And it's, it's tough. It's like a little membrane. So very interesting, but we got it. And that is what is most important. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the leggings. Okay. Actually, I think that's all right. There we go. Oh, that looks so cute. Pink sparkle leggings. Love it. Same thing on this side. A little bit of glue. Okay. Fantastic. And then we do need shoes. These shoes are so cute. So just like that. Same thing on this side. Definitely going to have to let these boots dry. There we go. And one more. And then we're going to stick this under the acrylic block for sure. This definitely needs an opportunity to dry. 
Okay, so while all of that is doing, perfect. She flattened out really nicely. She's beautiful. She's pretty dry. All right, so the next thing is her hat. I'm gonna add her hat to her head like this. And then we are gonna need glue along here because this part, this is the shadow layer to the hat. Perfect. Now I'm not gonna do as much as I did on the dress, but I do think that the hat needs a little bit of shimmer, just barely, because we are gonna put the sparkly elements on there. So I'm gonna let that sit for a minute while we work on her shirt, and then we'll come back and finish the hat. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of glue right here along her neckline, and that's gonna be for this little bow. And we're just gonna pop that right down, just like that. Yes, I do think that this is so much easier this time around than when I first gave it a go. Okay, I'm gonna put this glue right here for these. These are the little bones. They're supposed to act like, um, you know, those kind of ties that it goes around the button and then it goes around on the, it just kind of closes it up. Okay, I think that looks great. I'm gonna turn her around and plop that right there. We're gonna need to work on this hat. Yeah, I think this is a great die. I think this one you could definitely get some mileage out of. You could make all kinds of um, characters. And, you know, you could just use your Cricut to cut out little different hats, and it would be so cute. I think I might try, I'm gonna have to try that out, see how it goes. So here's our little buckle. I'm gonna put her under the glass block. We've got our broom. We have our legs. I'm gonna let those kind of hang out just a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and work on our panel. Okay, so we are going to be using a card base that is 110 pound. And I'm going to do a pink layer. And I'm trying to decide, let me show you. So I have this holographic embossing powder and I just got this from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to be using this embossing folder so this is an embossing folder um, again from Spellbinders and it makes this little star but earlier I embossed it and then I went over it with my Versamark and then I put this on and I dried it. So I wanted to test it out and see how it was. And this looks so good. Now I do have to cut this down a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and make it five and a half. Um, I'm going to do a little over, well, I'm going to do five. Instead of four and a quarter, I'm going to do 3.75. Then what we do is we line up the paper where we would like it to be okay so this is the folded part this is the open part and then i'm going to bring in my big spell binder six and then we need our bottom plate our bottom platform our top platform our embossing folder our cutting plate now if you have if you have your cricut like i don't have an embossing blade on my Cricut. But if you did, you could totally do this with your Cricut. That would be fun. Pull this out. And then, so see we have this. This is like the raised side. And then this here is the flat side. Just love it. Okay, so we got sparkle background. And we got non-sparkle background. Okay, I'm just going to go all in. We're going all in. We're gonna do sparkle. We're gonna go all in. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, and I'm going to find my, my little panel here, my embossing. So next I'm gonna get my Versamark. I'm going to just go over my panel with my Versamark. And my original thought is that it would really just cover the, um, it would really just cover the 
you know, raised parts, but it did kind of get everywhere. So we're going to see what this, what this time it does. It's also getting my glass mat. Let's see. Do I have enough? Definitely wanted to get it around the edges more so than the middle. Okay. So I'll clean that up in a minute. But for right now, I'm going to bring in, this is just, you know, heavy cardstock folded. I'm actually going to go like this. I'm going to give it a good coating of our holographic embossing powder. Oop, definitely too much there. <laughs> oh, goodness. So it's definitely got a nice dusting, which is totally fine. And it's just going to do the whole panel, which is fine. I'm, I'm good with that. Okay, and then before we do any embossing, I'm going to wipe up this surface here. Wow, I guess there's a lot of plan going on. Sorry about the plane upstairs. All right, so next I'm just going to get my heat gun and turn it on and let it do its thing. Okay, so this is hilarious. This is my white embossing powder, and this is my holographic embossing powder <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna have to i'm just gonna do it off camera but i'm gonna have to redo the panel because this right here is what i was going for with the holographic and this is what i managed to do so i think that i will let this just be and use it for another project Okay, so I wanted to show you what this looks like when you um, get ready to, to do it. So it's very powdery and grainy looking, and this is the holographic. Definitely double checked this time. You can absolutely see the holographic nest to the, to the shimmer. Okay, definitely so much better than this. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I think that is so hilarious. Okay, so if you make a mistake like that, when you're doing any kind of craft, you know, try and save it for something else. Don't just toss it. So I'm definitely going to save that for something else. But this is what I was going for, and that is so fantastic. Um, of course, you could always just use, you know, um, cardstock that's holographic. You, know, you could use really anything you want, but every once in a while I like to pull out things that I don't play with very often. So the next thing that we need to do is we're going to attach the broom to her hand over here. Okay, so there we go. And then the next thing that we have to do is we need to get our card base ready. We need to get this onto the card base. We need to get foam dots onto all of this and get this adhered down to the card. Okay, so as for getting this panel onto the base, I am just going to use some dot runner and we'll save our dimension foam, little foam circles and stuff for the, um, for the um, little witch. Her name is Fiona, but I'm calling her Glinda today. Okay, I think that's plenty. And then I'm going to get this kind of squared up so I can use my mat. Okay, and lay that down. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now this is what's going to happen. We're going to have her feet be here like last time. Okay, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this so that I know where I'm going to put that little foam square. We're going to be putting foam over here and then on this side as well. All right, so that'll go there. Oh, I'd say that's pretty good right there. And that's probably enough. All right, so now the daunting task of getting the backers off of all of these. Okay, all of these are off. And now, okay, so I'm actually 
going to take this one off. Now you could leave the backer on this one, to be honest, you totally could. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of glue to these foam dots just so I can place this down and have a, a second. Well, that definitely just plopped right on down there. And then I'm going to test it out. There we go. Legs move. They move this way. They move this way. Perfect. So I think if my cardstock was smoother, then the legs would be a lot more free to um, dance around. Okay, but there she is. That is fantastic. So pretty. I love it. So here we go. We've got our Elphaba Wicked Witch of the West. Okay, there she is. Perfect. Oh, look, so cute. Our Wicked Witch of the West. And then here we go. We have our Glinda Good Witch. These look so cute. Okay, well, that is all I have for you for today. Um, these really were a labor of love, but they are so cute. I just love them. So um, I encourage you to try out some dancing dyes and um, give them a try. Let's you know, let yourself see what you can come up with. They are super fun. Okay, well, that is all I have for you today. And these were super fun, definitely a labor of love, but I am so excited to have tried them out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your crafty friends. I hope that you found it enjoyable, even if card making is not your cup of tea. Um, sometimes it's nice just to take a break and watch people try other things. So until I see you again in the next video, thank you for watching and happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.